Welcome, Welcome back, back to the basement, basement the, the friendliest place on YouTube. YouTube. This episode of Legend of Zelda, <laughs> but you're Zelda, not Link. We, we are, are going to be Zelda. taking on the Naboris. That's right, Tim. The giant electronic camel that has blighted the areas known as Gerudo Valley. The Naboris has two, two humps. humps. <laughs> and so ride, Vanaboris, ride. Um, and I'm still sad. Banja's not hanging out in here. I really wanted to see Banja. Hey, if you are the creators of Zelda's Ballad, do a little extra and throw Banja in here doing something goofy. In the in the Vi outfit? Yeah, and like an ill-fitting Vi outfit would be really funny. <laughs> like, he, like, it just doesn't, like, fit. Because he's kind of a bigger guy, you know? Yeah. Uh, we also got materials and stuff to be able to go and buy the rest of the Gerudo outfit, which we're going to go do right now. We're going to show that off. And, and the Radiant outfit, oh my which gosh, is right. super cool looking. So we're And it's nighttime, we so we're going to really be able to show it off. We got some Radiant Let's stones. Yeah, we're we going some... in the Gerudo Secret Club diamond. We're going to go ahead and get this. 1300 So much monies. No problem. Sure. Desert Warrior Top. All right, time to put them all on. Yeah, let's try that out. But boom ba boom Cool. Looks pretty cool. Looks I mean, she looks awesome. like a legit Gerudo warrior now. Yeah, she does. She does. Except pale. Yes. Well, some there are some that are uh, That's that true. have lighter skin. Like the captain or whatever, I think. That'll is. be 800 rupees. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Radiant no mask. Problem. Three luminous stones. The radiant blouse. <laughs> and the radiant skirt. To my wife. Next time, she's like, I don't have anything to wear. I'm going to say, wear a radiant blouse. Yeah, put on your radiant blouse, honey. All right, so let's first take a look at this one. Ooh. Ooh. Very cool. Very nice. Loving Although, that. I will say again, you not don't a like huge fan of the heels. Yeah. Yeah. This doesn't seem as Zelda. The heels are cooler with the skirt. If what you if know the... how we can get uh, Riju's skirt in this, looks way cooler with this outfit. Mm hmm All right, now, let's put this thing on. <laughs> And we got to get like the right. Uh, oh, she's got a silent princess like flower in her hair. Yeah, she kind of looks like a pirate. Ha her hands, all of her skin is gray. It's creepy. But look at the back. Oh my gosh, that's the headdress, the triforce, ornate. upside down triforce <laughs> on the back of her head. It's like the pentagram of the Zelda universe. But like, <laughs> but like the red shoes and oh, dude, but this looks so cool at night. Oh, she's creepy. She looks like she's from the Dawn, of the, like not Dawn of the Dead, like Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. That's like, it's like her skin changes color. <laughs> nice. Do we're gonna wear nice. this? We're gonna wear this for a while because this is pretty cool. Ta can you take off uh, just the headdress? Thing. I want to see what she looks like, like where the skin changes color. Okay, so that goes like way up her neck. But it looks like it could just be kind of like a, like a turtleneck part of the dress. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this could look cool. Ooh. See the mix and matching of the outfits in this in this yeah. uh, version of the game are pretty sweet. Dude, I wouldn't mind if they uh, <laughs> like if the makers of this mod. I wonder if I probably someone has those red shoes though, like done uh, a redo of Link's outfits. Oh, because I could see Link having some cooler stuff with some of the outfits where he's got like, eh, no one's not very cool looking, but I appreciate that it has whatever elemental effect, and so you use it in a certain part of the game, and that's yeah, that's it, dude. Smart to cook up some dur. And I'm Did cooking you know up some dur to a time. Did you know that we ate on camera a long time ago in the Ooh, basement? Yes, and it was a fantastic video. That, it was that, one of one of the few videos that we had a guest. Yeah, it was really uh, yeah, very special guest. Uh, Ted's mom's son. Yes, A.K.A. Ted's my brother. <laughs> sister's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Ted's son's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> We're so stupid. <laughs> it really uh, is dumb. <laughs> um, no, yeah, we ate durian. It's it's in basement 1.0. The camera's not very good. The lighting's not very good. Uh, the basement's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> the channel isn't very good. <laughs> and the editing is like 
pretty non-existent. We it takes a long time. You know, remember how long that video is? Dude, it took a long time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dude, her bangs look a little like um. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoop. Okie doke. She disappears when she gets too close. The red shoes really do go with the tingle hat, though. They pop. What? Where's Riju? Look for later, Riju. She's on the second floor. Oh, Normally, okay. people are not allowed in the sleeping quarters, but she's given you permission, it seems. Please go ahead. I'll stand guard here. Okay. Uh, yes, and since uh, some of you may not remember, oh, this is cool. This looks like I'm ready for like some kind of ball. Yeah. Let's have a ball. Like the Day of the Dead ball. Oh, hello, Riju. It's so nice to meet anyone shorter than me. <laughs> Riju's like 10 years old, though. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. As Chief of the Garuda, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. But the people look at me with the warmth, nothing but warmth in their eyes. I must admit, I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now, please, give me the helm. Okay. <laughs> the way her eyes looked to the side, like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, like, Wind Waker. How do I look? Uh, uh. It's a little big. <gasps> Zelda's about to have a memory. These memories are different. have been changed <gasps> to go with the uh, yes. the theme of Zelda's ballad instead of the original. Riju's hair Let's makes see me if you can recognize what this apple, memory is from. Apple braid. But it's a Zelda-focused. It's a Zelda-focused memory. It's, it's going to be nice to see this memory because I haven't seen this one as many times as others. This is a good one. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. It's new yeah. voice acting. No, this is the same. Wait, but she says Princess Not of Hyrule. Are they planning to resurrect right. Ganon. It seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. So... This is actually the cutscene from the, oh. the DLC. The memories in the DLC were all um, Zelda, focused. Zelda focused. Got it. So she does say that, yeah. Because Zelda. Uh, well, I can't remember the name of the DLC. <laughs> Ballads. Nope. Ch uh, Champions Ballad. No. Champions Ballad. Yeah. The whole, all of the memories in Champions Ballad were all about like her struggle of like needing to like get her abilities to yeah. awaken and stuff. Yeah. I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. Yeah, I remember this one. where you got that name from. Well, one time I was outside and there was this little bird. Halt and face me. Oh, I love this. I forgot about this. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. they, they really are the NPCs really are just our me's <laughs> like ever since that article came out that it's just like the advanced me creator now when I look at the NPCs I hear <laughs> she is so sweet <laughs> She's got it under control. Out of respect for our princess, you may keep your lives. Now but go. not your legs. <laughs> Just, from now on, we're gonna call you Yiga Torsos. <laughs> he cuts off all their legs. <laughs> they have to crawl through the desert by their hands. Huh? Oh, I forgot all about that. When you were but a small child. <laughs> because you hatched from an egg. Yes, this is very interesting lore that we've never talked about before, but Zelda always comes from an egg. <laughs> She's like the windfish. <laughs> Dude, I got a mosquito bite right under the bone on my oh, ankle. Oh, that's the worst. The ankle is the, I'm convinced, like the worst spot. It's where the mosquitoes are drawn to. They're like, hmm, lots of veins down there. I probably just think it's the worst because I've had the most experience scratching bug bites down there. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Ah, sometimes I forget the past and get lost in myself. We're gonna take you back to the past. Do, 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 play the and stupid watch the cutscenes at rule. Uh, rule. <laughs> that 
We're going to watch them real fast. (laughs) What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is, how is it? How do I look? (laughs) She asked her how I look, (laughs) and like four minutes goes by. (laughs) Looks good. (laughs) I see. Rather, I don't. I see that you're lying to me. The threat, divine beast. Blah. More stuff. Of course. Will you help me? Yes. Only one way to get close. You'll have to shoot it with, the, with arrows and ride a sand seal. There's only one way out of this prison, and it ain't pretty. Dating the warden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. Because he said there's only one way. Yes. Good. Dude, you are on your bomb launch game today. I failed one. But only one. You did? Oh, well, the, the... I blame that on the mobs. Can I get on the ladder? Blame mm-hmm. it on the mobs. Nice. Yeah! Yeah, dude! Blame it on bokoblins fighting your bombs. Dude, if we were Millie Vanilli, we wouldn't have cheated. Oh, hello. What a sight. Of course. I'm Give ready. Give me some time. Here's some bomb arrows. Thunder helm. But I'm gonna wear that. You're Ooh. you're Thanks, Riju. In trouble. Oh uh, wait, Ooh, shoot. Oops, I said uh wait. Of course. Oh. Here's twenty more bomb arrows. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> New bomb arrow farming technique. Discovered in twenty twenty one. Ready. Ready. Did she say this is the last time I'll ask? If you refuse, this is game o- like permanent game over. <laughs> game over. Ganon has returned. <laughs> Dude, her hair is big. It is big. Makes me want a braid, uh, like a uh, big those giant desserts, one. like the f- the apple braids or whatever. Oh you yeah. Had those where they braid Dude, the yeah, like it's like a big giant loaf of bread, but it's all braided together. Yeah, and then the, it's like a strudel because they got the the tiny little eye on that walrus. He's like. I'm this is very stupid. bright. <laughs> I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> blink, blink. She's got a halo Feel going the power on. power coursing through me. <laughs> Look at that camel in the background. That's very cinematic, even though that's not always like that. Right. It has to do with where it is for it real is. in the its cycle. Right? Yep. That's This isn't a cutscene. That's is a like, nice touch. Dear Lord, please grant Zelda and me your protection. Ben, bless this food to our bodies, <laughs> for which we are about to receive. Now we lay us down to sleep. Wait, no, that's not right And now. bless the hands that prepared it. What just happened? Um, I rule at this game and you drool at this game? That's not what happened. <laughs> I can tell you right now. That's the opposite. What is ha- Oh, I don't have a shield equipped, maybe? Okay. <laughs> I knew it had to be something I would never do. Like the time I almost didn't have a shield equipped when we did the sand seals last episode. <laughs> you look like you're holding a flaming kebab. Mm, oh, dude, I had a flaming kebab today. Oh, man, I want to go. Dude, it, you talking about state fair food is making me a little bit hungry for Taco Bell. Dude, I think Taco Bell's got some, like, new $1, like, <gasps> pita. What? Tacos. I love pita. I know, me too. Well, you would. It's Dude, pita wants to name. put a little pita in his tummy, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Well, we could. Oh, well, by that, do you mean you want to put pita bread into your stomach? <laughs> no. Exactly. Uh, I want to eat my fingernails. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Gross. Disgusting. I don't really like my fingernails. I just like the grime underneath them. Oh, that's <laughs> really gross. I'm just kidding. You're just not. kidding. I don't like my fingernails, but I do like them to be clean and neat and short. Yeah, no, I let my cat so. lick my fingernails until they're clean. Oh, that works. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding again. Dude, did you know that, like, lions and tigers have the same... What are you doing, Riju? You stink at this. <laughs> Dude, it, she she was like dodging me. What's Riju's problem, dude? She's jealous of Zelda's good looks. 
Plant. Plant. Oh no, now my foot is only 100% functional. Okay. Stinking Riju. She's like avoiding me. <laughs> it took me so long so the first try. It's way better with uh, duplex bows. Because now it's done. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. No, no. No. I can't believe how big my smile is right now. Good. <laughs> it does look like a smile. Like with a bunch of exposed teeth. <laughs> oh. oh. My feet were really itchy from those mosquito bites on my ankles, and now it's all better. I'm going to take a nap now. <laughs> this leg's all floppy. Ouch. Oh, it hurt. So I was going to tell you, but you were being quite... Uh, Boisterous? Uh, yeah, because Ooh. you were upset because you were doing bad in the game. Yeah, I was. I was, I was gonna embarrassed tell you, on the internet. My uh, wife and I started playing through Assassin's Creed <gasps> Origins. <gasps> You ever played an Assassin's Creed game? <gasps> no. They're fun. They're not family friendly. Mm. Uh, they're very gory at times, but... The Assassins aren't so bad, but those origins... Oh. <laughs> but Lisa and I, like, we nerd out about um, ancient Egypt uh, conspiracy theories. <laughs> Ooh, yeah! Not because we necessarily, like, ascribe to them, but we just, they find, we find it so interesting. I, you know, I heard about, like, like, there's an underground library buried at the feet of the Sphinx or something like that, and I was like, that would be so cool if that was true. So, here's... And I don't know, maybe it is, but, like, they shot, like, echo location stuff down there, and, like, there's a box down there. There's, there's a room down there. There's stuff. Dude, okay, here's the problem. <laughs> and, 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 like, I don't believe... We're gonna get shut down by the Egyptian government. That's the problem. They're <laughs> corrupt. They're super corrupt. And like the guy who's in charge of all of the Egyptology stuff, <laughs> he he is like known like for fraudulating and stealing artifacts from other places. And then Ooh. they put him in charge of this. Dude, you know Egypt is the worst. <laughs> Look, the look in your eyes when you said that was really funny. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could have seen it. I wish I could have seen it. Oh, dude, it was so good. <laughs> but uh, anyway, the like, turns out all this time Peter so was here's an example. Here's an example. In Egypt. one of the in one of the buildings, they found what what could have been possibly a sarcophagus, but might not have been. It could have housed something else, um, and. It had like some Whoa, mysterious. Still bomb it had like mysterious liquid in it Ooh. that they were like, you know, what, what would if you were a scientist and you found a an archaeological thing uh -huh. and there's mysterious liquid in it, what would you do? I assume it's honey. <laughs> and eat it. <laughs> okay, that's, you're fired. Mm. Um, no, for real. What would you actually do? Uh, I well, I would. I mean, if it required some sort of specialist with like a sterilized yeah. putty knife or yep. whatever, like. Make sure that all the proper equipment's in place, but basically get it into a sealed jar for safe transport back to a lab for analysis. Yeah, and then you test it and see what it is. Yeah. Maybe learn something from it, right? Yeah, maybe learn something about if our it, past. If it glows, or maybe whatever. then put it on toast. Guess what, guess what he did? He peed in it. He had them dump it out in the street and wash it out. Why? He's hiding something. Oh. <clears throat> Here's the thing. He has a theory about when the pyramids were built, how they were built, and all that stuff. The guy in charge? Yeah, and I think, and he's like famous for it. And so I think what's happening is they're finding conflicting evidence. I mean, is it public? Do we know what it is? Does he think it's like ancient aliens and this stuff was gifted? Well, so that's the thing. We don't know what he thinks okay. it probably is because he's not saying, but he has like his own whatever and the popular Egyptology stuff. So if he, so if the evidence goes against that, he wants to destroy it. He destroys that's it and he steals here. it okay. and he like hides it. Mm. And it's like super like, oh, so I don't, I don't like think aliens built it necessarily, but I I want to know what the deal was, and this guy is, like, wrecking everybody's ability to find out what it actually was. They're like, oh, it's so mysterious. Like, what happened? It's like, I don't think it's mysterious. I think this just guy is just trying to protect his scientific journal entries. That's true. You wouldn't entries. think it would be that hard. Like, we know how the Colosseum was built. We know how the aqueducts were built. And, like, 
they were marvels of technology for the time, and it's really impressive, yeah. and it probably took a lot of slave labor, which is unfortunate, but, you know. It's what it is. It, yeah, it's it's history, <laughs> and we're studying it and learning about it. So, uh, some interesting Egyptology facts. Uh, the pyramids are too perfect. They're too perfect. They are clearly, they're clearly cut with some kind of, like, advanced cutting tools mm -hmm. um, that if they were built at the time they said they were and they had the technology they say they would, they can't have built them like that. Hmm. Um, and so, like, like, if you go on a tour or whatever there, they'll say, like, oh, yeah, they cut these, these stones with these other stones and they bash them until whatever. And, like, actual other scientists have like performed experiments like they never yeah, no, could have done it do like that this. right but that's still the main theory it's like it's so even stupid. though it's been disproven yeah they're too hard or they're too heavy or the whatever right there are some theories about how um they actually could be ancient con like an ancient poured concrete that has hardened mm. um and maybe some that would make more sense, right? Because with a liquid, you could build a form and fill that form, and it would be uniform. Yes. Now, unfortunately, that theory doesn't hold up very well either, because the blocks in the pyramids are different sizes, and if you were going to go uh, ahead and make like a form, you wouldn't do that. Right. No. Um, that and they found uh, like structures of uh, what's it called, like. Uh, Shoot, when little animals get trapped in the stuff, fossilized like things oh, are yeah. in there, and they're laid out in the stone in ways that like don't happen in resin? a concrete, like they happen oh, naturally. Sure, <clears throat> like sedimentation and stuff inside of the inside of these things. So anyway, but like it's it's like, dude, just admit that you don't. We don't know, and stop trying to like hide what you find that could disprove your theories mm -hmm. that's what i don't like about science <laughs> well is science still, science it, is a great pursuit when it's not corrupted by people who want to protect I mean, their grants still, and all that is stuff. it still science is it still fair to call that science no that's called people being evil so you still like science but you don't like yeah. quote science end quote R right what I don't like about science is how many people uh, who ascribe really? to silence, science, science <laughs> and believe in science I believe in silence. <laughs> and purport science uh, fail to understand that science is built on a set of presuppositions, which makes it a faith-based belief system. It's true. Like, here, here is a short and incomplete list of things that the scientific method <clears throat> cannot prove. A. The scientific method. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, the big one, the big one is it assumes that the uniformity of nature or what I was going to say is that matter is all that there is. Oh, sure. that's a big one. It's if very materialist. If, if right? there, yeah. If there are things that are beyond matter, mm -hmm. then science can't really explain them very well and therefore are not going to be able to. And so yeah. if something does exist besides well, the, the whole Egypt thing actually is really an, it's an interesting parallel because I think a lot of like science I think has rather definitively shown that our universe our physical universe is finite and had a beginning right the yeah. expansion of the universe and the acceleration of the expansion of the universe is in very layman's terms basically really really solid evidence that our universe is finite and the problem with the universe being finite is why did it start? How did it start? If there was no space, time, or matter, and then suddenly there was. there was a universe, there had to be a cause. And that's not necessarily a like a theistic statement or a religious statement, certainly, but just there was a cause. It's, uh, it's... But that's troubling <clears throat> to some, right? And so... So it's like, well, maybe there's a multiverse, and the universe came from that. Wait, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I flipped them the other way. Oh, wow. Oh, no, we're out of angles. Wow. Dude, you can't Wait. be expected to know that on your first try. This is my hundredth try. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this pu this specific puzzle like one million times. <laughs> I was trying to help you out. <clears throat> well, I don't need your handouts, Peter. Listen, if I were doing Vana Boris, then we would be 
not this far. And we would be still point. shooting the feet. <laughs> <laughs> Blorp. He's that kidding, but that, that may actually be accurate. A blorp for every glorp. <laughs> for president. <laughs> Um, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Hey. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Hey. Dude, you better run. <gasps> oh, I can't believe I got up. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I should not have been allowed up. You did it, though. You cheesed it. <clears throat> oh, I just woke up! Oh, now I don't exist anymore. You can't destroy matter. <laughs> I'm gonna convert you into pure energy. Entropy, bro. Ontology. Yeah, I was gonna say, how ontological of your argument earlier. Phenology. <laughs> How does that go? Ontology begets phrenology. What's that Whoa. statement? I don't know. I don't Do you know watch what I'm nearly. To say? I don't watch nearly enough Dr. William Lane Craig to understand that. I don't think it's a William Lane Craig thing. Onto I was just thinking about this. Ontology. What's the phrase? Philo. But what is ontology? Uh, it recapitulates. That's what it is. If you want to sound smart, say ontology recapitulates phrenology. Okay, recapitulation theory. Ernst Haeckel's phrase. Here's the phrase. Ontology recapitulates phylogeny. Phylogeny. It's the historical hypothesis that the <clears throat> development of an embryo of an animal from fertilization to gestation or hatching. That's what ontogeny is. Okay. Ontogeny. That's the word I want. Not onto. So ontological. an ontological argument for the creation of the universe would say the universe was had a beginning, therefore it had a cause. Right. And then we would posit that this cause would have to be outside of space, time, and matter. Incredibly powerful. And uh, presumably personal, moral. Uh, th those are a bit more of a stretch. That's less scientific or ontological. Well, that's, that's less ontological. It's, right. a different, it's a different argument. But yeah. It becomes philosophical at that point. Uh, hmm. How have I always done this? Uh, the fertilization. Oh, yeah. The development of an embryo of an animal goes through stages resembling or representing successive adult stages in the evolution of the animal's remote ancestors. So, if uh, the gestation period of a lizard is six months then at month four, what the unborn lizard looks like is what a full adult lizard looked like a million years ago, or 20 million years ago, or whatever. Oh. That was the, that's the theory, the hypothesis that's meant by that oh, shoot. phrase. That a mistake. There's a Halloween episode of a, of The Simpsons where Homer writes that in blood before he dies, in, like, he's ultra smart in that episode, I guess. It's pretty funny. I think it's a Halloween episode. Isn't he, it the one where he... He's yellow hurts. They take the crayon out of his nose? Well, that's not a Halloween episode. That is a very good... I think that one got nominated for an Emmy or something. Really? The yeah. one where he is super smart with the crayon? Because it's really sweet. Like, and Lisa's going to miss him. And he puts the crayon oh, back. Oh, yeah. Because he's a better dad overall. Like, he loves he's, her and yeah, cares about her. Even though he's, he's a dumb. stupid doofus. <laughs> When he was smart, he was all sort of about himself and his own pursuits. Well, hello! First floor. Appliances. Let's see, what are we gonna need for fighting that bad Second guy? floor. Ancient parts. Oh, goody! <laughs> Third did I get floor. the axe? Luminous stones and other precious stones. I did. An ancient Neat. axe. Hold on. Do you can pick up that sledge. There. I don't want the sledge. Trust me. Do you can pick up the sludge. I don't want the sludge. I put it down so I could pick up something else. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Dude, that sludge conducts elect electric cat. <laughs> we'll just get you out of the way there. And we'll bring you over here. 
So anyway, the universe had a beginning. Checkmate atheists. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Just kidding. <clears throat> I think I, the I, phrase checkmate atheists is so unbelievably arrogant that it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of the fact that it's so, so right. crazy. Like, like, you could fill in almost anything with that, right? Like, well, if uh, Jesus came back from the dead and that's really true and original, then how come Osiris came back from the dead? Years earlier. Checkmate, Christians! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, uh, Checkmate? You might wanna... It's an interesting... Read like, any... Thought? Actual... <laughs> Books! <laughs> yeah. Craig, I did watch something by Craig <coughs> recently on this. He's like, people who are still arguing this are a hundred years out of date on the topic. <laughs> yeah, they're... It's true, though. So Osiris goes on living in the underworld of the dead. That's not exactly resurrection. That's just no, no. He's still that's dead. That's just experiencing the second he, death. He's just death, dead forever, yeah. bro. There we go. Turning, turning, turning. Keep that thingy that turning. Turning, 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 ride. Now we spin this this way, over to here. What if they made a version of this where, uh, like, if there's like a spider, Zelda calls Link for help and he squishes it and then he leaves. <laughs> and it's like a command. It's like a quick time event. <laughs> or like a pickle jar that needs opening. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's what you're saying? There's a new quest that involves a spider in a pickle jar and she's like, Link! Ugh. Again? Get with the pickle jars! My- I like to say that my wife is a strong, stubborn woman, and she's all mine, but she does still have me squish spiders for her. That's good. I and have my wife squish the spiders. Because I true. hate them so much! That's true. Does your wife squish bees? Is she for you? usually- well, she so doesn't like the them much either, but oh. she will trap one if I, like, need her all right, to. Alright, we just took care of the m most annoying of these things. By doing this, well, I'm glad it, I remember to do this one. Is it time to fight the ultimate fight, or is it time for? Uh, no, not quite yet. Hang on. Next time. And no, it's not time for next time quite. X nay, I'm tay. Nope. X nay on the X tame. X nay. Uh, they basement bay. No. X nay on the X. What if you did every syllable? What if I'm basement tay. became ace bay ent may? <laughs> ace bay ent may. Tay. Ace Bay and May now. Dot com. Oh. 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 Zelda, what are you doing with your knees there? <coughs> looking very bendy. All right, you gotta shoot the goot. Nice. Dude, nice without the gyro aim. Would you say you've played more without gyro aim than you've played with? Um, it's starting to get there. Yeah. It still feels really weird to me to play without the gyro. So good job, Nintendo. One of your gimmicks finally uh, worked right and caught on. Finally. Oh, my floating head. Rob the robot didn't. The zapper was okay. Super Scope 6, eh. The track pad, eh. Track pad? The, for the NES, <clears throat> like track and field, you would run on the oh, pad. It wow. would look like a twister mat. You remember those? Yeah, I do remember those. And, and the the Rob the Robot. Yep, Rob the Robot with I mean, the he was, what he was the, the game? original Gyro, gimmick. Gyromite. Gyromite. Yep. Yeah. I tried playing that game for a while without the robot. Doesn't work very well, does it? No. And it's also dumb. Yeah, but I had the I had the game for some Come reason. Come on, get robot. out of it! Oh. Nice. That Good job, Zold. Zolder. Okay, Eldaze. Where, where is this one? If Link and Zelda had a daughter, what section. would they name her? Linda. Oh, I was gonna say Zinc. That's if they have a son. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Duh. Can't you tell Zinc is obviously a bo a boy's name? <laughs> I think is clearly the boy's name. All right, this is how you do this. You ride this all the way around. Is that how now? 
Yes, good, yes. Terminal. It's time to slacktivate it. Ooh, nice shield jump. I don't think we needed to do it, but it was flashy. Yeah, why not? It was cool. Oh my gosh, that's all of the terminals! Anything Link can do, Zelda can do too. Equally as well. Or, you know, sometimes better. Well, it's just because it's the game, it's the way the game is. Oh yeah. Uh, she controls exactly the same. This is going to be an epic battle between Zelda and Thunderblight Ganon. Are you Ooh, ready, Peter? No. Good, because we're going to have to do this next time. Oh no! In, In the basement! basement.